Let's talk for a moment about central versus peripheral faculties. This is just a completely arbitrary way of carving up my experience that I found really helpful when I'm thinking about how likely I am to succeed in a given activity, what challenges I'm likely to run into. Um, so central faculties are faculties that are always available to you. They're sort of the core functions of your brain and they are well connected among themselves. So this is a really important idea that within the brain, not every competency is connected to every other competency. And so sometimes the appropriate neural networks might not be recruited by an incoming stimulus just because it's coming through some vector that it's not connected to. With your central faculties, if you're operating within those always available, very core functions, you're gonna find that the right things get recruited up to a point. Peripheral faculties are resource and state dependent faculties. And in my experience, they tend to be things that I learned later in life, or I learned through a more academic education process. So the sort of things I learned to do as a kid, like interpersonal communication, always available to me. Um, but then the sort of things that I learned as an adult, say academic writing or business writing, um, come and go depending upon how well I am, my diet, my sleep, all sorts of things. And it's really important to track that because it's very anomalous when one is looking at one's experience to go from being really good at something to really bad at something, which happens because peripheral faculties, when they go offline, can be superseded by core faculties that might be less well adapted to achieving that task. But your brain doesn't tell you when it's having difficulties. It's kind of one of the fundamental uh, annoying things about having a squishy meat computer instead of like a proper engineered system for information processing. If your computer encounters an error, you know, kernel panic, blue screen, hey, something went wrong. If your brain encounters an error, it just pretends everything's fine and does its best in the background to meet the demand being placed on it. And so when you suddenly have a core faculty that's not very good being subbed in for a peripheral faculty that's very good at a skill but no longer available, uh, it can lead to some really confusing and distressing situations. And so when you are self-assessing your strengths and weaknesses, it's really important to differentiate. Does, does this appear to be a core faculty or does this appear to be uh, something that's a little bit further away from the core out in the periphery? I know, for example, that if I get on the phone with a prospective client, I can charm them because if I'm hearing another person's voice, I can tailor my presentation to be something that they find agreeable. But if I am required to communicate by text only, um, I am going to struggle if I am at a bad situation in my migraine cycle, if I'm having uh, poor sleep quality recently, or if I'm just stressed out from a lot of work recently, because that business writing faculty lives on the periphery. It just goes offline sometimes. Similarly with scheduling. I know that when I am struggling a bit, I'm going to really, really, really struggle to manage my schedule if especially people start trying to vary it up. If people need to cancel or move things around, it's going to absolutely wipe me out to manage those things. Whereas if everybody just shows up and I just have to do my core job, which is just to talk to people about mathematics for the most part, um, I'm not going to struggle with that at all because those things live close to my core. They might tire me out at the end of the day, but the ability to do them does not go away in the same way that the ability to send an email or manage the schedule goes away. Um, and when you're projecting how, how well an activity is likely to go, understanding what type of competences it engages can really help you come to a more reasonable expectation about how long you can maintain an activity, um, where you need to fit it in to your schedule. Can, is this something that I need to do on a Sunday after I had Saturday off and got rested up so that everything's firing? 
a hundred percent or is it something that I can slot into the work week because you know what I can always do this in my sleep it's no problem uh, having this framing of what's at my core what's always available to me versus what are all of the peripheral faculties that I've added on later that might be really excellent but also might be less frequently available can really make it a lot easier to plot out a happy human existence.